Tired of getting honked at because you weren't paying attention at a traffic light? I'm Frugal Tesla Guy, and I'm going to show you how Tesla software update version 2020.36.10 will prevent that from happening again. Yet another software update adding more features to an already amazing car. This time it came as two separate updates, three days apart, at least for me. The first was 2020.36.1, adding green light traffic light chime, speed assist improvements, essentially using the cameras to detect speed limit signs, and cruise set speed improvements. Then, three days later, a new software update became available, 2020.36.10, including one more feature, navigate on autopilot exit passing lane, which basically allows the car to stay in the passing lane if you so choose. Green light traffic light chime is a new feature where the car plays a chime when the light you're waiting for turns green. Now if you're behind the car, it will chime once the car starts to move forward, unless of course you're in traffic aware cruise control or auto steer. However, it will chime for you to let you know you can confirm to move through the light when it turns green. After putting it through the test, I can already tell you it's still not perfect. Surprise, surprise, right? However, I'd say it's pretty close because nine times out of 10, it will chime for you. I've only had a handful of times the chime didn't actually activate, both at a green light and behind a car. Otherwise, it's pretty reliable. So much so, if you drive in the city a lot in stop and go traffic, you may not want this feature on because you'll hear the chime a lot. Now, I don't live in a big city, but I'm waiting for my wife to ask me to turn this feature off. I can see how it might become annoying over time. Turning it off and on is as simple as tapping the car icon, autopilot, and toggling on or off green traffic light chime. Up until this point, we had to rely on GPS and Google Maps to let us know the speed limit of the road or highway we were on. If you're on a local or rural street, many times there won't be any speed limit information. But there's a good chance that many of these roads have speed limit signs. Tesla is tapping into the cameras to read these signs and then display them on the screen. This will also be used as a reference point for your speed limit warning settings. Now on this first day of testing the new software, this feature didn't work for me. This may have something to do with calibration of the cameras, but upon getting into the car the next day, it started working. Like any new feature, it still needs a little work, but overall, I'm pretty impressed with how well it works. It starts by displaying the speed limit sign approaching on the screen. And just before you pass the sign, it displays the speed limit as red on the sign. Now it does work a majority of the time, but I've noticed it has a few weaknesses. First off, it works best when the speed limit doesn't have any other signs attached to it. The first example is school speed limit signs. Now the car shows the speed limit sign approaching initially, but then it disappears pretty quickly. My first thought is the car may have recognized it was a school speed limit sign and may be programmed to ignore these for now. But then I noticed other speed limit signs were being ignored as well. When entering my neighborhood, there is a sign below the speed limit that says, be a good neighbor, slow down. Although it's a good message, it seems to confuse the car because it sees the sign initially but then ends up ignoring it. 
However, on a side note, the next day I drove past this same sign and it actually registered and saw the sign as 25 miles per hour. So I guess maybe there really isn't any rhyme or reason as to why it may ignore a sign or not see it altogether. Other times it might get confused on side roads right next to a highway. For example, I was on this road which has a speed limit of 25 miles per hour, but just down the road is a 55 mile per hour speed limit sign on the left. It read it and registered the sign and displayed it as a speed limit on the screen. But what about side roads with lower than normal speed limits? Well, I tried two different signs and the car didn't register them at all. The first one does have other signs above and below it, but it never popped up on the screen before ignoring it, like the previous signs. The other one didn't look as traditional as a normal speed limit sign, so it may not even consider it at all. Not a big deal, but if the car was driving on its own, it might think the speed limit was 40 miles per hour instead of 5. For now, it seems as though Tesla has decided not to include highways because it never saw any of the speed limit signs when I was driving on an interstate highway. Now, this may be because the highways are most likely going to be on Google Maps and GPS, but there are always going to be unique situations. This stretch of highway has been under construction for about a year, and the speed limit has been lowered to 55 miles per hour during that time. Well, just recently, GPS actually registered this stretch of highway at 55 miles per hour instead of the regular 70 miles per hour. However, this part of the construction project is finished and they've increased the speed limit up to 65 miles per hour, but the car has decided to ignore it. Now, it's not until I reach the official speed limit sign outside of the construction zone that it reads the proper speed limit. Although, I may be wrong in all of this. It just might be a bug because as you recall, this feature didn't even work for me on the first day. Let me know in the comment section below if your car is reading speed limit signs on the highway. As you may or may not know, at any time while in traffic aware cruise control or auto steer, if you tap the speed limit sign on the screen, it will set that as your new cruising speed. Now, if you find yourself stepping on the accelerator, you can tap the faster speed on the speedometer and it will set that as your new cruising speed. Of course, you will still be able to adjust your speed with the right scroll wheel or the plus and minus buttons on the screen on either side of the cruising speed. This next feature requires you to have either enhanced autopilot or autopilot with full self-driving. Up until this point, while in Navigate on Autopilot, after passing a car, it would automatically go to the right lane, as in most cases you should. However, you can turn this feature off and stay in the passing lane by tapping the car icon, Autopilot, Customize Navigate on Autopilot, then Exit Passing Lane. Well, that's going to do it for this video. If you've already downloaded the latest software update, I'd love to hear what you think in the comments section below. Well, thank you all so much for watching, and you know the drill. Like, subscribe, and stay positively charged.